Hi, uh, my name is Dr. Blake Stevens. I'm with the HZO research team and today we're going to demonstrate the difference between a new Motorola Razr with a Motorola splash guard technology and a Samsung Galaxy S2 with HZO water block technology applied to the phone. Okay, we're going to... The screen's set. The screen's changing. Start the timer. You want to see if you can reactivate it on the water? Well, do yeah, that one's totally dead. It's All right, we've been under an hour. Over. over an hour now. We've been underwater over an hour. And uh, our battery's almost dead, it looks like. We're going to try to make a quick phone call. Hi, Roma. This is Blake. Hi, Blake. Are we going to see you outside the lab today? <laughs> well, we've been... We I can been... hear you better this time than the last time. Okay. We've been underwater for over an hour. So, in summary, we submerged the, motor, the new Motorola Razr with their splash guard technology. We also submerged a standard Samsung Galaxy S2 that has had the HZO water block technology applied to it. During the submersion, just a few seconds after, the Motorola Razr ceased to function and we were not able to revive it, revive it with the power button or any other means. The Samsung Galaxy S2 with water block technology lasted for over an hour and we just were able to call the office and have a conversation. So it has full functionality while being some after being submerged underwater for over 60 minutes